we've got a laptop here that's struggling starting up. Uh, it keeps losing its date and everything, so it's quite obvious that the CMOS battery has gone on the motherboard. So we're just going to replace it. The first thing we need to do is remove the, the battery. So if we just slide those two tabs out, we should be able to push the battery off. On this particular model, we need to remove these screws to get into this panel. And then if we just get a flat screwdriver, we can just lift this panel up carefully. And then if you look there, you can see the CMOS battery, which is actually taped in. So we're just going to remove the tape to expose the battery. And then there you can see the battery. And you can also see that it's got the positive side pointing upwards. If you grab the battery at the sides and then push the tab out with a screwdriver, you can lift the battery clear. And there we have the replacement battery, which is a CR2032. So we're just going to take the old one out. Remembering, of course, that the positive side is facing up. And then place the new one in. And again, we need to just push out that little spring at the side there. And that's it. That's the new CMOS battery fitted. And then of course we just need to tape it back into position. And then all we need to do is fit the panel back on the back. Which will just slot in there sideways. There are some long screws and some short screws with this, so it's important that you don't get them mixed up. So now we've tightened all the screws up, we can now replace the laptop battery. Now we've changed the CMOS battery, we're just going to start it up again. And then we're just going to press F2 to get into the BIOS setup. And then we can set the uh, system time and system date. So I've just entered 14 because it's 1400 hours and then the, to get across there I've just pressed tab. And now it's 36 and we'll just tab again. Not bothered about the seconds, and we'll just curse it down. It seems to be uh, an American BIOS this because I've tried putting 14 in in the first position, it won't let me. So we'll have to put zero two in there, and then that's the 14th. And then we just need to tab along and change that to 2010. And then if we press F10. To save and exit, it's already on yes, so all we need to do is press return or enter. And then it will reboot.
And I'm afraid that's as far as I can go because I don't actually know the password for it. But at least we've changed the CMOS battery now. And uh, I can hand this back to the user and they can put the password in and, and use it. And it will remember the date from now on.